This is part two of the outdoor kitchen build. If you didn't see part one, you might want to check that out. I'll have a link in the description. I just finished putting the board back on the deck where the water's coming out. I've already started work on the countertop. I went with a very dark stain and for the clear finish, I'm using a spar varnish. Three coats sanding in between coats. Now I'm going to get to work on the bottom of the cabinet. For the bottom of the cabinet, I'm using standard 1x6 cedar. I need 13 pieces at 24 and 5 eighths. I'll set up a stop block at the chop saw. That way I only need to measure once. I'm using this plastic putty knife as a spacer so the wood has a little room to expand. I'm left with a space in the center that is 10 and 3 eighths, so I'll rip two of the 1x6s at 5 and a 16th heavy. I finished up with the bottom of the cabinet yesterday, added a coat of finish to the top, and then this morning I started to work on the face frame. It's not a conventional face frame, meaning there are no rails, so I made the styles and I took a little time making sure that I spaced the styles out so all of my doors would be the same size. And I also beefed the styles up a little bit to help hold the weight of the doors, and the next step is to make the doors.
Now I'm going to add two support pieces to the cabinet to help support the countertop and I'll get that material from the cutout for the sink. Now I'm getting ready to attach the countertop to the cabinet and since the countertop is solid wood it will need room to expand and contract. So I just used the biscuit joiner to cut slots in the cabinet. Now I'm going to use this piece of epe and make small clips to fit into those slots. Now I'm making the door pulls and again I'm using Epe. This is a real simple design. It's just a straight piece of wood with a five degree angle on one side and a slight chamfer on the other. Everything looks good and I'm real happy with the way this project turned out and it's going to be a lot of fun shooting the food show with the countertop and the, the sink and the cabinet for storage. And if you're a fan of the food show, we'll be putting up another show either this Thursday or next Thursday and we're going to be using the cutoffs from this project to make cedar plank salmon. So that should be a lot of fun. I've been posting a lot on Instagram. You might want to check that out. I'll have a link in the description to my Instagram. I try to get one or two shots of uh, basically the progress of the project that I'm working on each day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.